It is one of the largest employer in the formal sector besides government contributing over 50% to Zambia's GDP. But the year 2016 has not been so favorable to this important sector. The industry was dogged by a number of challenges ranging from low copper prices, job cuts, and increase in mine accidents. The low production, policy uncertainty, and energy deficit that faced the country also drastically affected the mining sector. Copper prices were trading at between 4,000 to 5,000 US dollars per ton. However, most mining firms were still comfortable to carry out the operations despite this distortion in prices. The low metal prices saw over 10,000 jobs being lost in the mining sector. And that was not all. The energy crisis was another issue. The mining industry was told to cut the usage of power by at least 30% due to insufficient rainfall in the period 2014 to 2015. All mining firms were affected by this measure, leading Zambia to fail to meet its copper production projections for the second year running. But the picture was not all gloomy. Interventions to get the mining sector back on track are in place. Government is addressing the energy shortage by promoting other energy sources. Government is also discussing with the mines to ensure that they start migrating towards cost-reflective tariffs. Transparency in the sector was also being looked at. And this is being done through the implementation of the mineral value chain monitoring project. Towards the end of the year, Government also started liquidating the over 600 million US dollars of value added tax that refund owed to mining firms. 2016 may have been a challenging year, but the future is still bright for the mining sector. And government is looking at eight future mining projects to push the country's copper production to over 850 metric tons in 2017. With these projections, Experts feel the year 2017 will be positive for this all important sector particularly that metal prices are improving. Mishek Moyo ZNBC News in Kitwe.